I love getting out of here in the morning. You can hear all the birds. It's amazing. All right. Let's uh, test the water turbidity and the pH. We'll take our, uh, our little pH vial. Rinse it out. Hold it down under the water about a foot. Fill it up. And we're gonna tap the water out of it. Reaches our uh, our line right there. All right. Now we're gonna take our indicator fluid. We we'll put ten drops in it. cap back on it, invert it, and we're going to slide it into our viewfinder. This is basically a wide range indicator, so slide it into the viewfinder. There's our sample. If you look, you can compare it to the actual pH measurements that are, that are part of this. Again, we'll take it out, put it back in. What pH do you read? I'm going to give it a 7. So pH reading, we'll say seven. Now you always dump your wastewater out of these vials into a safe container. You don't want to ever dump it back into the river. All right. Next test is turbidity. This is a, basically a turbidity column, right? The same thing. You're going to fill it up with water. About a foot down. We're going to keep it at the 50 mil range, right? There's a little black dot down here at the bottom, and the idea is if you can see that black dot very clearly, then there's no need to uh, go any further. If it was too turbid and I couldn't see anything, I'd add some reagent to it until I could see that, and I'd measure the number of times I added that reagent, which would end up being a JTU reading. So. We haven't added anything to this, so guess what? It goes right back into the river. Now we're going to do the Secchi disc. This is for water clarity. This is 8 inch fresh water Secchi disc. The salt water ones are 12 inches. What we do is we lower this down until we can't see it any further. And the line is indicated in feet, right? So you have foot and half foot marks. And what you want to do is you want to lower it down until it disappears and then just bring it back up until you can see it again and note the indicator on the line. That kind of tells you what your visibility is, right? So what we're first going to do is, I'm going to let it all the way down to the bottom. We'll find out how deep it is here. Four, five, six, about six and a half feet deep. All right, let's see how long it takes us for this thing to disappear. All right. Huh. So basically the visibility on the Secchi disc is three feet. So it's six feet deep, and I can see three feet down. That gives us an idea of the water clarity. Now, we'll check this again midday and again at the end of the day. And if there's been more turbidity in the water, it should be less clear, and I shouldn't be able to see it as far down. All right, we'll talk to you later.